And I heard you talk about, uh, I wish you could be full-time like us. We are not full-time. Our term of office is five years. Just like, isn't yours also five years? It is five years. It's elective time. After five years, you again go and seek for an election. The only privilege that we have here is there is a provision for an office, a car for the speaker, which you do have a right to demand for in your city. Especially the city, city speaker. How? You should be able to demand for that. This, uh, the KCC speakers demanded for it and didn't they get it? They got it. They were here in this boardroom. They got it. So it is upon you to go back and say, this is what we expect of you. It is in the law. You do not expect your patron to be the one to come up and say, okay, let me now provide you a car. That will be a different vote. Remember, we, we operate different votes. The vote of Lira, the vote of, uh, of Umbarara City, the vote of Gulu City, the vote of where, and uh, Fort Porto are different from the vote of Parliament. Parliament adequately caters for its speakers. It caters for their speakers. So I also expect all the other local governments to cater for their speakers. And where you feel you're not getting, you're not satisfied with whatever is being done, I am happy you have come with a, with a petition, and I'm going to forward that petition for onward what action by the minister and um, the responsible persons. But also go back to your constituencies, to your districts, to make sure that this is put in your budget. The issue of uh, permission to strike, a leader does not strike. A leader does not strike, uh, especially the speaker. The, uh, uh, that would be a shame to this country if a speaker went to, 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 to strike because you know how you best you can increase the salary. You have the right, you have the power within the local government. You can do that. So you don't have to, to strike. The issue of offices, still it takes you back to the regulations. I don't see how a speaker can have an office. How? Are there no offices in the district? For the district speakers and the city speakers, the law, that is according to the law. But when you come down to the municipalities and the town councils, sub-counties, those ones. Okay, that is the town councils and whichever. Uh, okay. office for the speaker this where you can where you can sit or where she, she can sit and transact the business uh, you're not very clear on which speaker the speaker of municipalities town council and town councils and divisions but but you see what we are saying the law provides for the city and the district and the district mm. now because of the creation of this the new creation of these uh, cities, cities. Yes. we did not make a provision in that. That requires now an amendment of the law, okay. exactly. which we are going to do. Oh, now that you have brought it to our attention, then we can now amend the law to incorporate that. What else? Uh, we talked about the, the, the support of the association wanted to buy land. Why do you want to buy it? 1,755 across the country. Across the country. Yes, my Are husband. you the speakers who can say, okay, we all have the same kind of liking, let's work together and come together and invest together? That's why we, we, we because we have always had uh, uh, meetings, uh, AGMs, national meetings, and that's what we resolved 
and that's why we are also looking at having a circle in the same you building. You know, there is resolving an applicability. Is it something that is worth a dream? Can it be done? It can be done, Madam Speaker, because even the, the, the mayors and, and the town clerks have, have done the same and it has, it has, been, uh, it has progressed. The, uh, uh, have you registered that circle? We are in the registration of the circle. Can we have the circle registered first? And once you've registered the circle during the AGM as the speaker's office? who is your patron, who will contribute to the circle. Yeah, thank you so much. Once registration is done, and we are sure that this is the circle, yes. Mr. Kema, my, 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 my speakers, once they have registered the circle, you contribute as speaker's office, and for us here, speaker's office means the speaker and the deputy speaker. Yes, please. The speaker's office here will give that circle 100 million for you to be able to do your things. Thank you, Thank you Madam. So the right person you're going to deal with is Mr. Kema. Yes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yes. Yes. So what else? Chankwanzi issue there. Chankwanzi is easy. We can organize for a training for Chakam Chakam. Mm -hmm. We can organize for training for you and uh, such that you need to be able to go back with a mindset change to go and talk to your yes. Uh, with your permission, right, Honorable Speaker, I think that is a very critical point because even training. As I am not standing for, for the position for Eastern Region. I am going to stand for National Vice Chairperson Female. Wow. We are bridging total support. As National speaker. Vice Chairperson Female is the one I'm standing for, not, not Eastern. I am for, for the whole country, not for only Eastern region. Once more, I want to thank you so much. Maybe she was reminding me of the issue of the transport. <laughs> As a treasurer, she knows treasurer. You, you know, you, exactly. your elder knows what she or he is supposed to do. We are humbled, uh, right, Honorable? Yeah. Because of the work schedule that is here. Even as I'm meeting with you now, somebody is telling me that you have 10 minutes to go. And and you know what it means. You're, you're, you're also speakers. You know that when it is time for the house, it is time for the house. The only difference between you and me is that I keep time. <laughs> for me, if it is true, it is true, and that is that. Uh, I have heard all your issues. First of all, you know very well that all the issues go governing the issues of the speakers, the councillors are under the Local Government Act and then the regulations. I am going to make a follow-up with the Minister of Local Government. And since this is a budgeting time, this should be the time that uh, we should be able to raise some of the things. I have your petition here. I have your petition here. I am going to share it with the Minister of Local Government. I will also share it with the Sectoral Committee on public service, on local government, on public service, uh, local government. And then we'll also look at it at the budgeting process. All these things are possible. But one thing that you should know that we don't originate budgets. For instance, if you're talking about sorority, we do not originate a budget for sorority. The budget comes from sorority with an inclusion of what you want in the budget. Say, if you're saying you're going to buy a, a car for the city speaker, it should be included in that budget. We do not have the powers in the house here to alter and say, 
this is what we should do now, alter and put. Because if the district asks you, how did you put this in, in our budget, what shall we say? So it's now upon you to go back before you pass the budget and say, this must be included. In terms of the moments, the regulations are there, the local government regulations are available for, for the moments, for all the benefits of the speaker in either the lower council or in the city. Those regulations are there. It is just a matter of enforceability. You, it is you and me to make sure that these are enforced. Are we together? So you must make sure that these are enforced by the local government. That is a, gov a local government that you chair. If you don't have a say in that local government, then they, I don't know which kind of speakers I have. You should be able to go back and say, look here, this is our right. Quote the law. This is our right. This must be included in the budget.